Welcome to the St. Louis Science Center's lab, where we are perfecting the art of demonstrating really cool science experiments. So this is a different approach to the colorful fire demonstration. So typically, the colorful fire demonstration is used with chemicals like copper chloride sitting on a watch glass and you burn it. Well, this is gonna be slightly different and amazingly cooler. So what you'll need is, first, first and foremost, your safety gear. Definitely will need gloves and goggles for this one. You will need an alcohol torch, of course a lighter. You'll need the chemicals that make the different colors, uh, strontium chloride, copper chloride, sodium chloride, salt, lithium chloride, and potassium chloride. But to make this even cooler, you actually need a spray bottle. Any kind of spray bottle will work as long as it has the spray nozzle. And you'll need denatured alcohol inside of there. So to set this up, take your spray bottle and you know, fill it up halfway, however much, with denatured alcohol. I use denatured alcohol because it burns very clean and it, it doesn't make a lot of color. So just by itself, the denatured alcohol, as it gets spread out into the air, it gets more oxygen and you can actually make a really cool reaction. So here's our torch. Here's our denatured alcohol. And if you spray it through the fire, watch what happens. So you can actually make a flamethrower. As the denatured alcohol spreads out into the air, it gets more oxygen. So this is just denatured alcohol by itself. To add a little bit to this, I took the copper chloride and I mixed it in there and dissolved it. So now we can do the same experiment and watch what happens. So now we have a flamethrower of different colors. So this is where we started. And then I started thinking, I wonder if any of the other colors would work. So I took strontium chloride, dissolved it in this one. See what happens. And you get that nice bright red color. And if you do try this, you'll actually notice the strontium, for whatever reason, burns a lot hotter. And so you'll be able to feel that a little bit. So with these kinds of spray bottles, since there is a highly flammable chemical inside of there, make sure you're wearing gloves and goggles. There is always a risk of it jumping back into the bottle. And we want to make sure that you are fully protected. So let us know what you think. If you want us to try something new, put it into the comments.